Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about enabling the onboard graphics on a particular motherboard. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that are very important, very important. Make sure your chip, your processor, your CPU supports onboard graphics. A lot of them don't. And so trying to enable the onboard graphics uh, on a computer running a chip without integrated graphics support is a waste of time and uh, is not ever going to work. Uh, so Google it, just Google your chip and find out. Number two, uh, these onboard graphics ports are slow. And what I mean by that is for gaming. You can watch videos, browse the internet, check email, do anything you want in general on the, these ports except gaming. You cannot game on them well at all. Lastly, when you go into your BIOS, you're taking a risk. It's for experienced users. Um, this is level one stuff for those of us that are experienced, but do be aware that you could screw things up by going into your BIOS. So uh, do be willing to take that risk and know that that risk does exist before doing so. Now with all the disclaimers out of the way, let's move on and look at how to enable the onboard graphics. Okay, so let's take a look at the ASUS ROG Strix B460i Gaming. We're going to look at how to enable the onboard graphics. So you either reboot the system or power it up from being off and just start tapping the delete key. I'm tapping the delete key over and over about once per second. And now I'm in the BIOS. If I uh, Typically it starts up in... Uh, simple mode, easy mode, whatever you want to call it, and you have to hit F7 to get to advanced mode, which I'll do now. You can use your right arrow to move, right and left arrow to move across the menus up here. I'm going to hit the right arrow twice, go to advanced, go down to system agent configuration, not where you would think you would go probably. Hit enter. Then I'm going to go down to Graphics Configuration, hit Enter. And then where it says iGPU Multi-Monitor, I change that to Enabled. Now you don't, this, this normally would say Disabled. I've already done it on this system. It's like one of those cooking shows where they've already got one in the oven. Uh, normally this would say Disabled. But I already had it set to Enabled. You can also allocate... Uh, certain amounts of memory, pre-allocate up to f a gig of video memory if you want. I just left it to the default, of which was apparently 64 meg, but you can allocate as much video memory as you want. I'm going to hit escape, escape, and I'm going to go over to the right to where it says exit here, and I'm going to save changes and exit, or excuse me, save changes and reset, I should say. Now, I'm not actually going to save changes and reset because I don't need to make any changes, but that's what you would do. Now, when you boot up into Windows, it's possible um, that just by running Windows um, Update, it'll just install the Intel drivers. It's, it's possible that you, if you just let it sit here, it'll install the Intel drivers. And then sometimes you actually have to uh, go to Intel and download the drivers from Intel. If I open my task manager after the drivers are installed, I'll see two GPUs, a GPU 0 and a GPU 1. GPU 0 is the Intel graphics, GPU 1 is my 2080 Ti. And so there you go, that's how to enable onboard graphics on an ASUS ROG Strix B460i gaming motherboard